Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. I'm here with my good friend Steven. Hey everyone. So if you like fragrance reviews, definitely go to Steven's channel, click that red subscribe button. He has a lot of amazing fragrances from designers and niche, and you're definitely going to learn about fragrances. You might actually love fragrances after watching all his videos. Now he has over a thousand Thank fragrance saying, videos, yeah. so definitely go there and watch some videos. And he has men and women's fragrances, so definitely check it out. Um, and make sure you click that subscribe button to show support for his channel. He puts a lot of work in, and I. His work is magnificent, so definitely go subscribe to his channel. Thank you, Chris. No worries. So today is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the women out there in the world. Hope you guys stay safe, and hope you husbands out there take care of your wives or your mothers. We released from the house of Polo. Well, I think it's maybe more of a flanker. I think you would say more of a flanker, right? It's kind of a flanker, yeah. <laughs> so this is Polo, and this is Polo uh, uh, Cologne Intense. Yeah. So this is Steven's bottle, by the way, so I appreciate Steven letting me borrow it for oh, review. of course. So this is a two ounce bottle, and I think he says it's gonna run you about $70 at Macy's. That's how much I paid for it, yeah. So this is a beautiful bottle. I will zoom in later on so you can see the bottle and the box if you wanna see it. Um, it's really nice and green. I like the presentation with the silver cap. So this is my first time smelling it. And you do get a greenness to the fragrance. There is Embrox in the fragrance. There is vetiver in the fragrance. Um, there's spearmint in the fragrance, which I was happy to know it had a little bit of mint in it because I do love <laughs> mint. So I'm a sucker for mint. So. I'm gonna feel the vibe in this uh -huh. fragrance, but I like it. I've never smelled the original, so I don't know how close it is to that. Um, but I do like this one. I feel like this is a great fragrance to wear, just casual, um, to work, um, date night if you wanna wear. It's a safe, inoffensive fragrance. If you like polo fragrances in general, you're probably gonna like this fragrance. Now, if you're not into polo fragrances, you might not like this, but I think you should definitely go out to your Macy's um, or Nordstrom and just spread your skin and I think you might enjoy this. Yeah, I feel like you are gonna be reminded of the original Polo, uh, which has the gold cap. Uh, that's the one that came out in the late 70s, composed by Carlos Benaim. However, the original has the tobacco, the pine, the oak moss. This has none of it. And so this is a much brighter, fresher interpretation of a classic. And so it has the ambrox and it has a grapefruit. It has the spearmint in there. It also has some other aromatic ingredients. There's the basil in combination with the spearmint. Uh, basil is also found in the original, if I'm not mistaken. But basically this is like a brighter, fresher, um, more modern twist on the original. And so you're not gonna get that fur balsam. And I think that there are new regulations being imposed on it by the, um, you know, the International Fragrance Association. So I think that this one is their attempt to sort of take a classic and modernize it, while also giving a pretty decent performance, enough of a, a connection to the original where you smell it, and you're like, oh yeah, I can smell the original polo in here, but it's done in a fresh way. People are comparing it to Bleu de Chanel. I think that's only because they saw the note breakdown and they see the grapefruit and ambroxan, and they're like, oh, it's gonna smell like Bleu de Chanel. It doesn't smell like Blue de Chanel. Uh, if anything, it's this green fragrance. You are gonna get the patchouli in there. You are going to get these faint resemblances to the original, but I think most of what you're going to get is like this spearmint grapefruit combination in the opening, which lasts about 20 to 25 minutes, and then it very quickly evolves into like this ambroxan and patchouli sort of a fragrance uh, that is still, like Chris said, great for the office, very versatile. It kind of gives off a class uh, or a casual vibe, excuse me, but I can see somebody wearing this one formally as well. Something nice that maybe you're just getting the fragrances and you're really not sure what you want to buy and you, you, you feel like maybe I smell people that wear Dior Sauvage or Blue Dish. Now maybe I want to try something different. I think you're going to like this if you're new to fragrances and you're not, you don't want to spend a lot of money, but you do want to smell good and you do want to say, hey, I'm wearing a a name brand fragrance. So if you say, well, we're in Polo, okay, cool. We know Polo, you know, fragrances are affordable, but they still are expensive at the same time. And they've been around for years and years now, and yep. they are, have a nice respect and name behind them, and their fragrances do smell good. And I feel like this will garner you compliments, just like a Blue de Chanel or Dior Sauvage. Um, but at the same time, I think you should definitely spray it on your skin and make sure you like this type of fragrance. I wouldn't just go blind by it, especially if you're new to fragrances. There's a dark element in here, and there's a bright and fresh element in here as well. And so it seems like a contrast, and I think that that juxtaposition is quite obvious where you kind of have like the darkness of the patchouli, but then you also have the freshness of the ambroxan and the grapefruit. And it's kind of like they're playing side by side throughout the entire longevity of this fragrance, which is about five to six hours. And so it's not a super long lasting fragrance. You're not gonna get 10 plus hours on your skin. Even the concentration, it's cologne intense. 
-hmm. We know cologne is weaker than eau de toilette. So is cologne and tense still weaker than eau de toilette? So it's kind of one of these things to think about, like there's intense in the name, but then, you know, you have a lot of brands making up their own concentrations. And so it's kind of nebulous. You're like, so what is it? Like, what's a percentage of oil, right? So I think that that's probably a better gauge as to how strong or how weak a fragrance is, but based off yeah. the first impression. I like this one. I think that spearmint gives a little bit of added touch where mm -hmm. it just gives it a little bit of a freshness, but it's not overly, it's not like, I know some people say certain mint fragrances can be too much. Like I know some people say crypto mint is too much and I get that because it's kind of that mintiness in it is maybe overly done too much. I get that. And I know some people say Azaro um, wild mint is just, it's a heavy mint. This is a nice mint, but I think it's kind of smooth. It's not beaten in your face. It's not like a toothpaste sticky mint. It's just, it's a nice subtle mint mixed with the patchouli and the vetiver. It kind of blends in and it's there, but it's not like overly in your face. Yeah. It's just there, it's well balanced, and I do like this one. I would just wear it like a toast even off camera. I would probably wear this as casual, just something I wear, spray and go. I don't have to think about it, and I know I'm gonna go out and people are gonna like the way I smell. I'm not gonna be afraid to wear this anywhere and be like, oh man, I gotta be careful because this might offend other people. I think it's a simple, easy to wear fragrance. If you're getting the fragrances, you should definitely check this out. This, check out your Sauvage Blue Day Chanel, but at the end of the day, a lot of people wear those fragrances. I smell all the time at the mall, <laughs> so I think you should definitely try out the polo. You will stand out, you will smell a little bit different. And I think it's classy and gentlemanly too. And so, even if you wanna like satisfy that nostalgia in you and you're like, you know what, I wanna smell like the original polo, but I want a modernized version of it, I think it's a solid pickup. Oh, definitely. I'd like to thank Steven for letting me uh, use this fragrance for review. Of course. I do like the presentation of it. I don't really own any polos myself, but this is one I would definitely recommend getting. And I like the price at $70. I can pick it up, just wear it to work, go out casual, and I know I'm going to smell nice today. Thank you guys for watching another fragrance video. If you like this type of content, I hope you consider clicking that red subscribe button and like the video if you like this type of content and click the bell icon for future videos and giveaways. Definitely, I'm gonna leave the link down below for this full review on Steven's channel. Definitely go to his channel. Thank you. Uh, he'll break down a little bit more of the fragrance and definitely click that subscribe button on his channel and click the bell icon so you're notified for future videos as well. Thank you. And we'll see you guys next video. Stay safe, peace.